Yeah. What's good, Boom Crew? It's your girl, Boom Fanny, and I'm here with motherfucking Lisa Boom Fisa. Say hi, dude. <laughs> um, I'm using a front facing camera, so I'll be looking crazy. What I was about to say, yeah, me, Lisa, Karima, Dominique, Erica, Troy, and some mystery guests, because who knows who these bitches are friends. Claudia. Claudia. Um, we all going to see the movie Hustlers. Um, we going on 40 seconds. So, we here ordering Chinese uh, chicken wings. And I got some liquor now, and I got a little bottle that I'm gonna sneak into my pocket. But when I get there, I'm just gonna order some nachos. But, um, yeah. And she got some snacks in her bag. We hoping that they don't fucking be checking the bags like that. I don't think that they OD check, but I think they do make you open your bag. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna get back with y'all when I link up with the rest of these helpers. to see the previews. Y'all see the soul glow glistening on my nose? Why do they have these many levels of floors that's Why do you have to go up? Oh my God. Did you hear that? Are we on fire? I know. Finally arrived. Crazy out of in the champagne room. Swear it's the guy even blind. Say hi to the camera. Say hi. Naja. Say hi. Too much when people ask you questions. Naja, out of five stars, what do you give it? Give it like a three. Yeah, three, three and a half. Okay. I agree with three. They ain't show party enough. That's what I like party to stay. Yo, word. <laughs> if they would have shown her more, I think it would have been a little better. And if she was on a pole. Yeah.
Queen Naja. Oh, hey. We wanted to see more of Cardi B in the movie, y'all. Yeah. She had a little clip. Yeah, she was cute when she was up there. It's time to go home. Yeah. yeah. I, I could have held it, but I don't know how long we're going to be on that train. <laughs> he said, yeah. Got in from work and I went to the cafe and I had me a large latte. I was hoping that'll perk me up so I can wash my hair because this dye is I love the color on me, but the spray dye I can't do it. I cannot do it. I thought that. I just assumed. I didn't even read the directions or really check no reviews out. I literally saw one girl on um, YouTube and she put this red bun in her hair, but her hair was black. So she slicked her hair up, put the red um, hair in her head and then sprayed the, you know, the, the parameter of her head. And it just looks so natural, so nice. And that's where I got the idea of doing the spray dye. Now, although it was only one video, I didn't see anything about her saying that, you know, if you touch it, immediately it comes off. I'm thinking, just I just assumed that if you did it, that it would kind of dry down and it wouldn't be so easily able to fucking come off. So now I've been walking around with a red face at work and I'm sweating and dirt and all this and my clothes and it's just a fucking hassle so i'm gonna wash this out of my head i have a hoodie in here that i Malcolm got me that i love it's just my new favorite hoodie but it has red dye all over it so i'm gonna see if i can wash this out if not i'm gonna have to dye this hoodie um I'll do a whole fucking design on this shit. Um, yeah, so uh, that's what I'm gonna do. I just got home and I fed the cat and I had fried some fish the day before yesterday and I didn't come home last night. So you know when you throw the scraps and stuff out um, in the garbage, if you leave the garbage, you come in your house, you won't smell that shit. You take it so fucking long to get in the house. Anyway, um, so what was I saying? So I came in and I smelled fish and I'm like, oh my god. So I threw the garbage out. I lit some incense. I don't know if y'all can see all that smoke. Um, but that's from the incense. Um, scrub the tub and I'm gonna try to rinse my hair out in the kitchen sink. Because I don't want this dye to be all over my tub. I'm just not in the mood. That's why I've been procrastinating and washing this out of my fucking head. But I'm going to go in the kitchen sink. Rinse as much of it out as I possibly can. And then get in the shower. And um, try to wa wash the rest out. And just get this shit out of my hair. But um, if any of you have suggestions on how I can get this color in my head. Without actually having to use harsh chemicals like anything that'll break off my hair let me know i'm gonna do my own research but you never know some people might have had wanted a hair color and did not want to bleach their hair so i don't want to use no temporary shit that makes a mess and i don't want to bleach my hair so let me know what i should do um i'm gonna show you my hair when i'm done this is not a hair video i'm just letting y'all know what's up yeah, what's good, Boom Crew? Um, so I'm back. I meant to show y'all my hair after I washed it, but I thought it'll be 
a better idea. Sorry, I twisted this one up. My hair locks easily. So I can get these spiral curls pretty easy. Um, I had that shit in my hair all day. But um, I thought it would be better if I show you, showed you guys my hair while it's dry. So you guys can kind of get an idea of the real texture my hair is. So I have a mixture, I think, of 4C, 4B hair. Uh, 4B, 4C hair. Because some of my curls are defined and then... It's like some of my hair is kind of like uh, that undefined texture. But I do have that crinkly wave. That's just a natural um, texture of my hair. So I have incredible shrinkage. So that shows that my hair is extremely healthy. And I'm not going to toot my own horn or gas myself up. But I know for a fact that once I started using my tea tree um, and rice water shampoo bar. That's when I started to notice that my hair was thicker, healthier, stronger, and my shrinkage is way better because my hair is healthier. So this is just this is my hair. Um, there's no way for me to really show you guys. Uh, I'm not even sorry. I'm not even really pulling it fully, but that's just like a piece of my hair. I can't hold the camera at the right angle. I need to hold this for y'all to really see. But um, yeah, so I'm just trying to get myself to waist length. I had a few setbacks, but uh, I'll get over it. I'm, I've been taking really good care of my hair recently. So, I just got in from work. Today's Friday. I'm about to eat my totones and my chicken wings. Have another drink. I had one drink already. I'm just relaxing today. My best friend said she's going to hit me up later. And I'll probably slide by her house and we talk our shit. But, um, further than that, I'm not doing shit. Okay. So, I'll be back, y'all. Um, I don't, what's today? Monday? The 30th? Um, it's around 6 o'clock and I am home. I'm frying some chicken. I'll show y'all in a minute. Uh, making some corn and white rice and then I might make some platano. So, it's 6 o'clock and I'm waiting for my son to come home from football practice. And Malcolm might come over. Uh, depending on what he's doing in Harlem. So, I'm just cooking dinner. I came from work. I had a decent day. My weekend was kind of rough. Uh, all my fault. But I'm not even going to get into that. <laughs> it's a fucking nightmare. But anyway. Hold on. Move back. I'm using a front facing camera. So I'm sorry if I'm not a... Uh, if I look washed out or whatever. But I really like seeing myself when I'm recording. And I keep looking this way. My bad. Um, do I have any life updates? <laughs> no. I need to go get my teeth whitened. I mean, if I'm going to have gaps, at least have white teeth. The fuck? I need to take this down. No, I don't. I'll leave it up. I just need to cut it so it won't be in my frame. It's a little... Uh, fruit flies and stuff. I hate them shit. So I put up a, a fly trap. Oh, What was I going to say? I was going to say something. But I forgot. Yeah, today is the 30th. So there's nothing that I'm doing. Yo, that's what I really got on camera to fucking say. So I went to get my nails done and my feet done. The place that I normally get my nails done at Sorry, this is why this angle bad. Um, the place that I normally get my nails done at, the lady had too much fucking people and I just could not wait. So I go to the place where I normally get my feet done at. I only do my feet there. I don't do my nails there. It hasn't even been a week or maybe it has been a week. But my pinky nail just flopped right off and I feel the instability in my other nails. So I can't wait this weekend to go to my nail tech I think they open at 11 so I'm gonna be right there as soon as she open I'll probably get there fucking 10 30 and be waiting at the door 
I was waiting for you at the door. And to go do my nails. Because I'm not about to be putting up with this shit. I paid $72 for my nails and my feet. Because I did gel. gel. What's wrong with me? Why, why do I talk like that? I did gel um, on my nails and my feet. But my nails should not be popping off. The gel polish started peeling off. This one had a bubble in it. Like all types of shit. And by the time this shit started happening already. I think they have a policy. You come in the next day or three days or something like that. But it had already been past that time. So I ain't even sweated. I'm going to just um, redo them. Um, do I have anything else to tell you guys? Oh, about this weekend, it led to me and Malcolm getting into, like, it, uh, an issue, right? An incident, right? So, as a result, he deleted all my pictures and blocked me and, you know, went all out on Instagram. So, I did the same thing. I archived him. I didn't block him, but I archived our pictures or whatever. I don't know if he put my pictures back up, but I just wasn't feeling it. So I am feeling a way about that, but I'm not going to say nothing because at the end of the day, I was in the wrong in the situation that we got into it about. So sometimes people just need time and I'm not going to be sitting here on your back like, oh, when you going to put, I'm not doing that. Like he did what he did out of frustration or out of temporary emotion and it's whatever. But, um, so I'm just saying that because there's some people that follow me on Instagram and there's some people that follow him on Instagram. So if you're wondering if we're still together, yes, we're still together. I don't approve of the fact that he did that because I don't like putting my business out there when it comes to me and his status in the sense that, oh, if we going through something, people don't necessarily need to see that we going through something. But being that he did that, it kind of forces my hand for me to get on here and say, yes, we're still together, blah, blah, blah. Come on, boy. Tell them what this is about. I get tired, tired. I get um, 20 hours. Okay. So he was supposed to do it, and he had some complications before. So now this is his his new chance, okay? Redemption. So this is Josiah tying a tie. Just take out the $20 now. Boy, come on for a slap the flames out of your Okay. Yes, child. Yeah, you just okay. Wait, oh. excuse the <laughs> Suzanne. How's the kids? <laughs> you ugly. <laughs> he said, Suzanne, how's the kids? That's the that's what the time make you do. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you got to worry about. What's good, Boom Crew? So today is Saturday, the October fifth. Um, I am, of course, on my way to get coffee. Um, I am on my way to get coffee, and then hopefully I can go get my nails done if she doesn't have too many people. Um, what you guys think about my jacket? I got it from Fashion Nova. I forgot how much I paid. It couldn't be no more than fifty dollars. Um, so, yeah, that's the plan for today. I'm going to just bring you guys with me to go do that. Hold on. She better not climb up my back on my slap, um, fur off her ass. Uh, that couch is scratched up. You know why? Because of the cat. Um, sorry, I keep, I don't know why I keep looking over there. But, um... Yeah, but yesterday I had a productive ass day, y'all. Yeah, I had a productive ass day because I made two batches of soap. I made 
somebody ordered a whole brick of the tea tree rice oil rice oil rice water soap so i made them that batch and then i just made a batch of body soap um it smells really good for now hopefully the the fragrance doesn't dissipate too much um that is cat right there come on come on damn jacket get it together so um could you get your butt out my face stinking ass poo too oh god so um yeah so i made soap um i had sold a bag i didn't complete the bag but i made the shell of it um i had took a few days off of work i just needed to i had to handle some things and honestly, my brain has just been fried. Like, my emotions have been everywhere, up and down. I'm getting frustrated for no reason. Like, just a lot of shit. And I'm I'm just associating it with the fact that I'm not happy. So, it's like taking a toll on me. Um. So, anyway. Let me handle what I need to handle. And give this cat her attention. Um... She deserves, right? Could I have a kiss? No? Oh, word. Bye. Yeah, yeah, I made it to the nail salon, so I'm about to see if she can squeeze me in. It's early, so I hope nobody signed their name, really. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I signed my name on the list. So essentially, she got three people before me. So she said like an hour and a half. So I'm just gonna go back there. It's like 11, 10 or something like that. I'm gonna go back there around 12.30. And I think I should be good around that time. Um, I wanna get the glow in the dark nails because it is October. Um, and I have this event that I wanna go to. And usually when she does my nails, they last a good three weeks. As long as I'm not doing no rebuilds at work. I think I should be good. But anyway, I'm gonna go back to the cafe. I'm gonna chill out. And then later on in the day, I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna make another bag. I'm gonna make the outer layer of the bag and then I'm gonna start sewing the linings and stuff. And then I still have to um, make, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, mark on my wallet. So that's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make my wallet. I don't know if I'm going to do that this weekend or not. Um, and what else? That's it. I'm not cooking today. I got one piece of chicken left from when I cooked um, dinner for us yesterday. So I'm not making nothing special. But I'm about to check this fabric store out. Hold on. Hello. Oh, right here. They got them. Oh, we in. Oh, it's lit. Let me see the other side. This is right. So, what I think I'm going to do... I'm gonna get some of this. I'm gonna get some of this, and I'm not sure what I'm gonna make, but I'm gonna make something. So let me get what I'm getting, and I'll be back. <laughs> Guys, so my nails are done. I meant to show y'all while I was in there. I'm just showing y'all a close-up. I think she did a great job. Is matte. Her lines are a little overlapping right there, but it's fine. I'm going to show y'all my right here. I like this hand better. 
but I'll insert a picture of my inspiration for these nails and then y'all let me know how she did <laughs> excuse me y'all let me know what y'all think how she did yeah what's good boom crew um as you can see I blew my hair out because I'm gonna go get it braided and I can talk as much shit as I want about how rough hair braiders are but the fact is my hair is not easy to deal with so I understand that they in a rush sometimes and they don't got time to be babying your hair so um uh, I cut my ends I clipped them nothing crazy but maybe a half an inch I don't care about the evenness I just wanted it to be healthy Woo. so here's my hair um so i hope this is a good my head is straight i hope you guys can see well um well, this is my hair okay all right so I'm going to go get my hair braided. Oh, shit. I got to put the hair in the bag and everything. I was going to leave the hair here. And then I'll be back. Okay, guys. So I'm back from getting my hair done. And I've been trying to play with the color red lately. So this is like a burgundy. Oh, no. It's uh, so I got my hair in the style that I always usually get it braided in. Um, if you wonder why I always get this style, it's because I do like my hair long and I like it out, but I don't like it in my face. So this is kind of a perfect style for me because it gives me the option of pulling my hair back and putting it in a ponytail and not having it in my face when it's down. Um, I used to get the two braids going to the front, but that was inconvenient because when I wanted to pull my hair back, I would have those two braids out and... I've been working in the construction field for over probably a year or something. So to have my hair coming down to my face is just an inconvenience. But um, I think I like how black looks on me. I don't know if that's because I'm just not used to seeing color in my hair. So maybe I just gotta, maybe this just has to grow on me. I mean, I, I like it. I like how she did it. Uh, and everything is very neat it's not too tight or whatever but i guess i just gotta get used to a different color in my hair but um it is saturday and i don't have no plans today um it's 11 something at night so i just gotta fucking relax sit my little hot ass down okay so i'll see y'all another day What's good, Boom Crew? It's your girl, Annie Boom Fanny. And um, why am I doing my intro? Why am I doing my intro, y'all? But um, it's Sunday. Yeah, it's Sunday. I have tomorrow off. I see my child. He need to make up his area. Um, if you are wondering, I live in a one bedroom. My son is 14 years old. So... The, my couch has turned into beds and under is the storage so yeah I have to excuse that this is just my living arrangement right now I would love to live in a two bedroom but I don't make enough money right now so anyway um hold on let me show you my food I'm gonna show you my food hold on. can you see that yeah so I'm just going to sit here and eat, and I've been watching Law and & Order. Um, I've decided I like my hair. <laughs> I've decided I like the color red on me, but it has to be a certain type of red. This red is a little bit too bright for my liking. But um, because in the pack, the hair looked a little darker, but I don't know. I guess I should have took it out the pack and, pack and looked at it. But it looks good on me. So I have another idea for my hair. I think copper 
the color copper would look good on me as well. So I might um, play with that um, also next time. But I ain't got no plans. I got to make a couple of orders. Somebody ordered beer, beard cream. Um, my homegirl ordered some hair conditioner. And I think I might make a soap today. I pulled out steak and I pulled out pork ribs because Malcolm doesn't eat pork or he selectively doesn't eat pork because he eats it sometimes, but don't tell nobody. Um, so he's, I'm going to make some steak for him and I'm going to make some pork ribs for me. My son is going to come over later, so it's going to be a chill ass day. So I'll probably record when Malcolm and my son is here. I'm not sure. Um, I just want to relax today, really. And hopefully... I have enough energy to sew a bag or finish sewing this bag that I was sewing. So I'll keep y'all posted. I'll be back.